Hello everybody and in this video I'm going to talk about art block and lack of motivation to draw and how to overcome it. I believe every artist felt at least once but probably more often this feeling that you just cannot draw anything, you don't have inspiration, you don't have energy. There are many different reasons why you feel this way but there are some useful uh, strategies and advices how you can overcome no matter what was the reason of it. So tip number one, mental cleansing. Clear your mind through meditation or physical activities. Make sure you don't even think about art and art block for several hours minimum. It can be longer than that. Listen to yourself, but um, don't wait for too long. Tip number two, ask yourself quality questions like what is art what is creativity why do you draw what was the reason people started to draw in the first place to be honest sometimes the more simple the question is the more difficult it is to answer and it's interesting to analyze these things it can actually give you inspiration at least it does sometimes to me and I also real, uh, recommend to analyze what pushed you to draw in the past. Like, you know, think about that yummy, nice feeling when you just feel super inspired and even no stage during the drawing, no failures can stop you from it. Think about that feeling you had in the past and try to set your brain a kind of a command to come back to that feeling. Tip number three, art is a form of communication, I believe. And even if an idea is not obvious or controversial or deep for others, it is still your feeling. The feeling is there because you felt something to draw it. And I believe that feelings are pushing us to create. You draw the vibe. In that case, overthinking is actually a good thing because I am personally a professional overthinker and uh, all of that stuff helps me to come up with the ideas because I use this overthinking as a way to get inspiration from. So everything that bothers me, I try to in some way implicate it and ask myself, how would it look like on a paper? Oh, in my case, on a, on a so iPad. Number four, <laughs> observe. Nourish your visual library. It can be by watching other artists' artworks. It can be by watching great masters of the past paintings and sculptures. It can be also photographs on Instagram, Pinterest. It can be some cool color palettes. Just let yourself uh, to watch, look, observe, notice. Just be attentive. And set your brain like a command that you need to find something. That you are not just drifting around with no purpose at all. You have some purpose. You may not know exactly what you're looking for, but your brain does. Because it's like what you focus in, what you, what, everything you like on, on the internet and in life, it's your preferences, it's you, part of your personality. So I believe that our brain is like a smart computer and you just need to give it an order, some a command that we are looking for something. And, uh, you know, sometimes I don't even know what I'm looking for exactly, but my subconsciousness some kind of does. Because when I find something, I would be like, yes, that's exactly what I've been looking for. This is it. I believe that I'm not the only one who feel this way. And yes, we just need to use it. Just need to know how to use this, uh, this smart computer in our heads. <laughs> Tip number five. Make your own personal challenge. Like, you know, there are many challenges on the internet with the lists of things to draw during a month or a week or something like that. And they are in a certain order and you kind of have to follow the rules but I recommend and what I do is I'm making a list of a random things that I would enjoy drawing and from that list 
you can take any topic, any item that you wrote uh, in any random order at any time and you need to combine it with some other things that you usually feel comfortable with drawing that always like let's say for example you're good at drawing a woman face you can uh, take this as a main subject and any other things from your um, from your personal challenge list uh, to combine it with let's say for example woman face and lighter woman face and uh, i don't know sushi lamp it's up to you what ins what would inspire you in theory what you would enjoy so experiment with that um, tip and tip number six watch cartoons animes films films about great artists back in the day when i was drawing in traditional materials uh, like oils I was feeling art blocked very often and there was one thing that always was quite helpful it's that I was watching the biography films of uh, um, my favorite artist or any biography films of the artists of the past times that's been ever made I was searching for this particular genre <laughs> And yes, I really recommend. And uh, back in the day, I even made a list of my favorite uh, bio artist biography films on my Instagram. And I think I will mention in the description my, my favorite uh, films about artists um, that I watched. Tip number seven. It's probably a very common tip and advice, but I'm still, uh, I still think it's worth mentioning try to experiment try to change your materials uh, or subject of painting try to draw instead of portraits uh, try to draw landscapes and uh, like anything you want to change too because you know just let yourself to come up with something bad maybe allow yourself to draw something something maybe even ugly who knows just give yourself freedom don't expect anything from yourself and just this exercise just go with the flow without having anything in mind to expect from this painting just be messy no one is gonna see it no one's gonna see it <laughs> no one is gonna know <laughs> how what they know you're just gonna delete that after all and it's just for you for you just to go through this let's say blockage that a uh, white uh, canvas uh, blockage just make it messy make the canvas messy and um, yeah it's one of the ways to uh, make yourself free from from this art block always remember art block will not last forever it usually lasts for quite short period of time and uh, with this uh, tips will pass even faster but if it is a procrastination and uh, excuses in that case you need to push yourself forward to do things because uh, sometimes best way to treat any problem is through actions these tips i believe helps me to find joy in a art if i lost it for some reason and i hope it will be the same to you. I hope it will be the same useful and helpful as it is for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.